What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today's video is an exciting one because we have uh, three tins, we're going to have the Hidden Fates tins and we're going to have two of the Team Up tins. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get hold of the third Team Up tin which I believe is Pikachu and Zekrom, um, but I could get hold of these two. Um, said it in a previous video about Burning Shadows uh, being one of my like favourite sets of recent years, Team Up is well and truly up there. Um, love the Team Up design uh you know some of the cards the, the incinero gx full art the amphros gx really love those cards the gengar and mimic you all of the like the actual team ups they just look really great um it, it's a set that i'm uh not that progressed through at the minute um i haven't quite sorted out my most recent batch of team ups so i can't show you I, I mean i could show you my binder but it won't be an accurate representation so i'm not going to show you my binder um Either way, hopefully we get some good pulls, and then we're going to end the video with a Charizard GX Hidden Fates tin. Uh, we know everyone loves some Hidden Fates. So let's uh, get straight into this. We will start with Eevee and Snorlax. I have a code card which I will show in a second. Our promo card, Eevee and Snorlax GX. We will sleeve this first. It's a very nice card. Centering's pretty nice on it, it's a tiny bit heavy in the bottom. I apologize for the glare. The back, it looks nice. It's a very clean card. Very, very clean card. That's very nice. Beautiful. We have our little, whatever this is. Either way, it looks cool. I'm not sure what it's intended to be. It's just a big metal slab. But it's cool. And then we have our four packs, one of each art. Oh, I apologize. I thought these would just team up. Okay, well that's interesting. We have some evolutions, that's cool. Well, that's unexpected. That's not what I thought they were, but you know what? That works. Here's the code card. The evolutions, we're collecting that. Forbidden Light, it's a set I've started collecting recently. Um, you know, I'm gonna open the other tin so we'll get all the packs out and then we'll go through it pack by pack. Code card, I'll show that in a second. We have Celebi and Venusaur. Pretty poor centering compared to the other one. The bottom left is quite heavy compared to the top right. Uh, it's a bit visible on the back as well, but the, the, the biggest indicator is the, the top kind of stops at the black line. Um, and yeah, you can tell. Then we have the cards. We have two team up, a forbidden light, and an evolutions. And another tag team slab. Okay, so here's your code card. Not quite what we were expecting in terms of packs. We'll get the Forbidden Light out first, then we'll do Evolutions, and then we'll do Team Up. Because I thought we were getting eight Team Ups. I'm not 100% sure what's good in the set. Code card. I think it's four from the back. One, two, three, four. We'll find out if we turn over a rare or an amazing card. It is Energy, so we have Grass Energy, Hooper, Lissandra Labs, Go Goat, Snova, Scatterbug, Rockruff, Skrelp, Litleo, Lissandre, Prism cards, these are the good cards I believe. A Alolan Marowak, that's cool, I love that card. Marowak, that's a Pokemon I haven't seen in a long time. What happened to that? You have Code Card again. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. And you have Steel Energy, Didone. A go go to again, an unident unidentified fossil, a furfro, inke, magnemite, hone edge, cubone, reverse hollow magneton, and a beast ring. We have a okay, have code card. We've already revealed this pack has at least a hollow in it. Uh, Evolutions is a set that I'm working through. I got some really good pulls from this so far. I haven't got the Charizard. I have some of the Charizards. I have a couple of the Secret Rares, but it's a set that I'm a good way through. So, uh, so hopefully we can get something that I need. Oh, let's go. Did I do one extra? I don't know if that takes the rare slot. Surfing Pikachu, this is a secret card. That's amazing. I haven't actually had any of There's the Dojuo, the Surfing Pikachu. I think there's another Pikachu. And I can't remember what the fourth one is. I've never had that. That's great though. Amazing. Misty's Determination. I'm going to actually first sleeve the Pikachu. Okay. Misty's Determination. Porygon. Rattata. Charmander. Energy. Pikachu. 
this is Fran there, and Growlithe, a reverse energy, reverse hollow grass energy, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. Nice. The centering <laughs> is questionable. The top is about five times bigger than the bottom, as you can see there. Oh, we butchered that pack. I can't remember if I have to turn over. I don't think I did. Okay, the slide works. Code card, enjoy. One, two, three. And we have a slow bro, slow bro spirit link. I cannot speak today. Kakuna, Energy Retrieval, Nidoran, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Ponyta, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow Pikachu, very nice, and an Arcanine. So here's the pulse for the evolution. Surfing Pikachu, Mega Pidgeot EX, very nice pulls. Very nice. And I'm pretty sure both of those will go in the collection as well as the Surfing Pikachu. Gonna move these to the side and then we will deal with Team Up. So here we go. We will save the Gengar and Mimikyu till the end and we will deal with Snorlax and Eevee first. Carry card, I'm not sure how it is. Okay, that works. There you go, enjoy. One, two, three, four. We have a fighting energy, unidentified fossil, far fetched. Call cool out on that, it's nice. Tentacruel, ferro seed. I really, I don't like the the ferro cards, the ferro seed, the therapy one, and that there's another one. I, I, I'm not sure why, I just honestly don't like them. Um, Meowth, Geodude, <laughs> the clay art, Grimer. Pidgey, Reverse Hollow Morgan, and a Mighty and a Non Hollow. Toe Child, enjoy. One, two, three, four. It's going to be Psychic Energy. Darkness. We have Tentacruel again. I'm sure this was a. This was rare, right? I don't remember being uncommon. I thought Tentacruel was a rare. Evelyn, Puppeta, Pidgey. Dratini, the de-evolution of my favourite Pokemon, Dragonite. Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, some cool art on that, it's green. Ponyta, Alolan Graveler, and a Moltres. Shiny Moltres, that was a really good pack. We didn't get anything like, you know, GX or anything, but that was a really good pack, I think. And we have Celebi and Venusaur. Code card. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. We have Grass Energy for Celebim and Venusaur. Ingo and Emmet. Wartortle, taking it back to the old days. Tauros, Halioptile, Execute, Pharisee, dislike that card. Meowth, Alolan Geodude, Reverse Hollow Bishop, and a... Oh, full art Morgan, full art trainer card or oh, supporter, trainer, supporter, same thing. And that last pack, Gengar and Mimic You. Code card, enjoy. This is the best code card because it's come from the best pack which has the best cards in it. We have one, two, three, four. We have a Psychic Energy, Charmeleon. Unidentified Fossil, a Farfetch'd, Geodude, Mankey, Pancham, Ferrisseed, hate that card, Pidgeotto, Reverse Holotaurus, and the sickest card you'll ever see is a... <laughs> it's a non rare Lapras, apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here's the pulls for the team up. Pretty good pulls, I love the Moltres. I would argue the Moltres might even be my favourite pull. The Hollow one is really nice. Really nice. Get a bit closer for you. Look at that. But the Morgan's still a, a really great pull. It's a shame about the centering, but it's good for the collection. And that's ultimately why I'm opening these. I'm gonna put these to the side, and then we will open up Hidden Fates. Here's the big one. Let's see how good condition this Charizard is. I'm not going to pull the Charizard out. The centering is questionable at best. 
top is poor compared to the bottom. The left to right is fine, but the, the, the bottom is just way too heavy. So I'm gonna leave that there like that for now. I put it inside here. Have two Charizards, a Mew and the uh, the birds, Zapdos, Voltres and Articuno. We will start with Mew. And we will do three from the back. If it's four, then we haven't messed up. Uh, you know, we just have an extra card. If it's three, then we've done it right. We have Sabrina's Suggestion, Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing. Oh ho! Ho ho! Shiny Vault, Full Art, Supporter, Hiker, very nice. Oh ho! Okay, so, <laughs> wow, okay, so it's four from the back, got a Raichu GX, a very nice. <laughs> Let's go. We have Code Card, enjoy. Apologize, I think I hid some of that. One, two, three, four. We have a Water Energy, Scyther. Magma, Charmeleon, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Blaine Stand, and a Hollow Vaporeon. The Blaine Stand is a rare, so that's a nice pull. Imagine both of them had a Charizard in. What are the chances? What are the odds of that? Code card, enjoy. Right, I don't even know the odds of pulling one Charizard in these Hidden Fates. So two, it would be like, has to be in like the tens of thousands, right? Fairy Energy, Metapod, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Magma, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu again, Jigglypuff, Ekans, ooh, Shiny Vault, Furamosa, very nice, and a... Eevee. It's like, Eevee's one of those Pokemon that like everyone loves, as well as all the evolutions, but no one's like, oh yeah, Eevee's my favorite Pokemon. And then you get the cards and it's like, everyone wants the Eevee. Everyone goes hype over the Eevee. Like Shining Fates, the ETBs with the Eevee promo card are gonna be so good, like really good. Fermosa, centering on the right is a bit light compared to the left, left side heavy. And on the back, yep, that's visible on the back as well here, compared to thick there, compared to thin there. The corners look nice though. It's good, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I need that for my collection. Uh, my Hidden Fates collection is not the greatest, but it's getting there. The last pack. Code card, enjoy. Oops, code card, enjoy. What I will say is if we have managed to save the last pack, the best pack to last, this is going to be a very good pack. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get a fire energy because it's kind of hype up the Charizard. Watch. Okay, it's a fire energy. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Magmar. Misty Cerulean City Gym. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Clefairy. Coughing. Voltorb. Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff. And the greatest card pull of all time is a... Weezing. Apparently, that is the greatest card pull of all time. Okie dokie. So, there we go. There is the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Uh, here's the pause for Hidden Fates. My favourite pull is... Um, I'm just trying to remember what we pulled in the other packs. It's probably the... I think it has to be the Full Art Hiker. Uh, it's, it's a really clean card, that's why. It's from the Shiny Vault. Anything Hidden Fate Shiny Vault is going to be nice. It's a very clean card. I think that's my favorite pull. Leave a comment. Let me know your favorite pull, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you enjoyed the content as a whole, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Got plenty more content coming. Uh, we've got a lot of Shining Fate stuff coming in February. Like a lot of Shining Fate stuff. Uh, more than like all of my previous videos combined. Uh, is coming for Shining Fates. So it's going to be a lot of good stuff. Uh, as I said, I have a couple of Hidden Fates ETBs coming 
uh, at the end of January. So we'll have those to tie us over between. Uh, so leave a like um, and subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to seeing those. Uh, and I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you very much.